Hi guys, it's nice to see here. It's been forever since I have sat down and done a tutor video, so I'm really excited to be back. Um, this is going to be a cycle three week one um, updated. So if you've watched my other videos, really week one isn't too different, but I did a few things different this week. So I thought I'd go ahead and just update all of my videos for cycle three. So if you want to follow along with me this year, that would be awesome. Um, so as usual, I started out with geography and um, we just used our dry erase markers and found each state on the map. Um, I used a few word plays like Augusta, Maine, and it's up at the top and hanging out out there. So I have to be careful the Augusta wind doesn't blow it off. Um, and then we drew a heart in Hartford, Connecticut. But the rest of them, I just had them dot, put a dot in them, especially because they're so tiny. And then we just went back through and um, erased and I had them repeat after me for each one of those, um, especially with it being the first week. And I'm at a new campus this year, so I'm still getting to know everybody. Um, I didn't want to try to do anything too complicated for the kids because I don't know them very well yet. And I have um, older obesitarians this year, so. Uh, then we moved on to Latin to get them up out, out of their seats. And I have, these are just laminated construction paper that I made forever ago. In fact, <laughs> when I pulled them out, they had um, U.S. geography locations from the last time we did cycle three. So I hadn't used them in a while. But um, I wrote the uh, Latin on one side and the English on the, the other side. And I taped them around the room. Um, I taped them with all the English showing. So I would say the Latin word and then have them run to the English word. So, and then when they got there, we would say the Latin word and then we would say the English word together. And then I'd say the next Latin word and they would go find the English word for that. And we'd say the Latin word and the English word together. Then when it came for review time, um, I had pulled all these off the wall and we did them like flashcards and we did them just back and forth, whichever one I happened. If I happened to have the English side, I'd ask for English and what the Latin was. Had the Latin side, I'd ask what the English was. So that's what we did for Latin. Um, for timeline, I use my timeline cards that um, I love. These are just so fun. You can use them in so many different ways. So I hid them around my room. Um, I love doing that because it's just an easy way to get up and move. And I sang the timeline song um, while they tried to find them. So um, it was really cute. We have a lot of new families this year and I am so excited for them. Um, but they didn't know what the timeline cards looked like and I didn't think to show it to them beforehand. So luckily someone found one pretty quickly and so I could show them what they looked like. But um, for the hand motions, if you like to do those, we went over them really quick in class, but I'll show you guys what they are. So we have age of ancient empires. So you just kind of make like an old man's beard. So age of ancient empires and then creation, you're gonna bring it up like the tree of life that was in the Garden of Eden creation and the fall. And then your hands are here for the fall and you're gonna just bring them up like this for the flood and the Tower of Babel. Mesopotamia was right in the middle. So we're gonna like slice our hand in the middle. Mesopotamia and Sumer, they were river um, areas. So you just make an R with your fingers and you're gonna ride the river. Sumer and then Egyptians, you're gonna make the little snake that they sometimes had on their headpieces. Um, and then we have Indus River, so we're gonna point here. So anytime in your timeline that you talk about India, you're generally going to point here, and this is symbolizing the bindi dot that they wear. So Indus, and we get to have our river. So fingers crossed, this is an R for river. And we're gonna ride the river. Indus River, Valley Civilization. And then we're gonna have Minoans and Mycenaeans. So you're gonna make a Y up to your head like this and bring it down to your ear and then shake it down. And this is the sign for gold because um, they were kind of rich civilization. So that was our hand motions for timeline. Um, then we moved on and we did science. And so for science, I use my same hand motions that I did last, uh, last time through because they work and they're easy. So we had four types of tissues. They're connective. So you're gonna connect your fingers like a chain link, connective, epithelial, so you're gonna kind of rub your arms. Um, this is your epidermis layer, but you're rubbing it because epithelial kind of sounds like feel. Epithelial, then you have your muscle. You can let all the kids make all their muscles. And then you have a nerve and we just kind of like, I always poke to my neck so it's like you're getting on my nerves, you're a pain in my neck is what I say. <laughs> but you can have them poke all over because they have nerve endings all over and that's how they feel where you're poking. So nerve, so again, connective, 
epithelial muscle and nerve. Okay. So that was science. Then we moved on to math and for math, I did my tried and true uh, jumping when I circle and, and um, we jumped for ones and then we squatted on the twos. So um, it's way harder to squat, excuse me, the jump. So um, we just, I read through the numbers. Again, week one's easy because it's ones and twos. Um, and then we sing through the twos a couple times. Uh, it's to the tune of Jesus Loves Me if you're trying to figure out what you know that song from the twos is. Um, then we went to history. And so for history, I have my little egg shakers that I made. These are super easy. They're just little plastic Easter eggs with rice on the inside. And I taped around the, um, the seal. I don't know, taped around the crack in the egg <laughs> to keep them, the kids from being able to open them because that's kind of tempting to do. So um, in the new song, if you haven't listened to it yet, it is the same tune, but there's a couple different pauses that they do. So just make sure you listen for that. It doesn't really change it if you sing the old one. The words are the exact same. And again, the tune is the same. There's just a pause after, in 1492, there's a longer pause um, than there is in the older song. And then there's also a pause after, um, the word Caribbean. So just wanna pay attention to that if you haven't listened to it yet. Um, those are in there. So we did our shakers and then I erased different words. My kids can't really read yet, but I would erase a word and then I would pause when we got there and see if they could tell me what the word was that we were missing. So let's see. Oh, and then we did English. I think that's the last thing we have to do. So English, I used my voice sticks, which I had in my bag. I have so many baggies in here because for review, we did puzzles. Here we go. And I have my handy dandy trusty what to do how to say sticks so um you can find all kinds of versions of these all over the internet pinterest cc connected has some um this is how i have mine i've just mounted them to colored sticks so they just look like this i laminated them um and then cut them all out and attached them to sticks so i kind of tend to put them over like this fan them out and let the kids pick one so we did several of those and we talked about our infinitives. So that was what we did. It was super easy, it went pretty fast. Um, the kids did a great job for their first week. It's always a toss up whether everyone's gonna be super quiet and not participate, or if they're all gonna be really, really chatty and want to over participate. So we had a pretty good mix. Um, for uh, science this week, um, if you want to add in a little something, I will try to link this principle below. I found these, um, they come and you just cut the circles out and you just staple them to the straws and they work really well to kind of demonstrate to the kids what you're gonna be doing in the experiment and they're just fun to add some time because this doesn't take a lot of time. So um, they're the little, I don't know if it'll work on here, but you can see this. So it makes it look like the bird is in the helicopter. And then this one, it's got a giraffe with a spot. So we did that one. And then this one's super cute. It's a little cupcake with a cherry on top. And so these are really easy to make. Um, I thought about printing them all and letting the kids choose one, but I felt like as soon as I did that, everyone was gonna want a cupcake and I wouldn't have enough cupcakes and then we would have hurt feelings. So I thought I'll just make these to demonstrate and I'm gonna send the link to my parents and I'll try to put the link down below for them. Um, so that was just a really good extra thing to kind of demonstrate what happened. We talked about also if the bird was over on this side, would he still show up here? If you move the picture around, it changes what the picture looks like. So on their faces, if they don't have their faces lined up or if they changed one and their one face was really different than the other, it's not gonna line up and do the exact same thing. So again, just adding another layer of things to discuss um, with science. Uh, we use the Nicoleum sheets. If you haven't used those, um, they're on CC Connected. She's amazing. They just give you a lot of extra things to talk about. So um, then for 10, we are doing 10 whistle for six weeks. So for our 10 whistle, um, we played Simon Says with their 10 whistle. We talked about all the different parts, harmony, cacophony, all that good stuff that you talk about the first weeks. 
We went outside to play for just a little bit, but we didn't play a ton because it's the first week. Um, one of the things that I do like with to remind the kids with the tin whistle is one, don't run or walk with it while it's in your mouth. But when you're pressing on your tin whistle to know that you have the hole covered, you should be pressing hard enough that when you pull it off, you have a little donut on your finger. So I was having them practice just holding one finger because again I have the littles and making sure they were getting a donut on their finger. So played Simon Says with you know mouthpiece, barrel, all that good jazz, resting, playing position. I let all the kids um, practice being the conductor. Um, again it's not a huge lot of material to cover in 30 minutes so letting the kids take turns doing things, asking questions, getting them engaged is um, essential to get through the 30 minutes. So hey buddy. Um, the last thing we did was review. Again, not a lot for review. Um, I have a bunch of these, thanks. Okay, going out. I have a bunch of these puzzles that we've collected, I think from the dollar store maybe. And then these are ones that come, they come in this little, the cardboard boxes at the dollar store. So I have a bunch of them, bags. And since we're trying to not share things as much, um, I gave, let them each have a puzzle to do and we just did a review, which there's not a lot to do. I also gave them one of these paper pages. Um, I found it a free printable on Pinterest. If I can find the link again, I will um, link it down below. Uh, it just will help me learn about them. I asked them if they could to bring it back next week, but it had coloring on it and it's got writing. So it was kind of a good um, time taker upper for there at the end. So anyway, that was everything that we did this week. Week one's down in the books. We survived, masks on. Um, definitely sweated, but I always say if you're not sweating when you're doing foundations, you're not doing it correctly. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have had an awesome start to your year or will have an awesome start if you haven't started yet. And um, I should be here every week uh, with these videos. If you want to see anything specific, have any questions about what I've used or where I found anything, just ask me in the comments and I will be happy to answer those. All right, guys, have a great week. Bye.